Onivia. League of Legends highlights, powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on esports. Very long range. Her engage range is very good, but it really just comes down to can you just get off the ground in the laning phase? And if she's up against the Thresh, there is a possibility that he's able to do that with those earlier. But hold on, Grig on the bottom side. No blue buff, no top side of this jungle. They're trying to engage now. Said Luthi. he needed to be active. Got stunned. The stun is in. The cocoon is just flashed. Smoothie gets the heal as well. They go for the kill. Smoothie, Grig's one more turret. shot. Griggs under turret. The rappel was used to get in. And he's going to be taken down on the way out. That was just a little slow there from Grig. What happened was he went for the cocoon after the Sejuani E, but it's a very short stun. One second, here comes Contracts though, trying to turn this around. Sneaky forward. Contracts hot on the tail of this. Keith, or Sneaky rather, able to pick up Keith by himself. And now Contracts is going to come to the party. Hits the Q, waits for the resonating strike until it's an on the roam already, trying to make a play on the top side on what Looper. Is this a level four Looper. Had the lead in the He's lane. Trying to kill Impact. Impact takes the aggression, flashes out! Oh. He gets the E hit right as Impact leaves range, gets his flash, blows his own, but they have teleport to get back. And Smoothie, yeah, in the top. What are they gonna do though? They're gonna oh, bring 3v1 Impact. He said, Welcome back, Impact. He goes down once again. I mean, they're just kind of evening it up. Two people had visited the top lane previously, one at a time. Dragon TPing bot just to pick up the farm. Contract's actually going oh, in. Oh, yeah, way over the wall. Double kick on Gate and Greg. Can he finish it up here? Very long. Dragon's in. The fight faded in. Gets the sigil on to Contracts before he blast cones over the wall. And Contracts going a little farther than his team can follow. That blast cone, you want to create that 1 3 1. Huh? Caught on to Keith. Oh, here comes the teleport in as well. That's going to be impact right in the middle of Fox's team as they disperse. And they are going to be able to take out Greek immediately as he comes back to the fight. Yeah, like I was saying, you really just want to have that engage that. Him get caught. It's going to take a while to take the Sejuani down. This could be good for Fox to set something up, pick a backline member off. Jensen's now in a bad spot as he's the caboose to the train, but there is enough crowd control to take down the beast that is Gate. Honestly, it's cloud nine. But if the poke comes through, Grig is in and doesn't get it. Doesn't get it, gets kicked back in. The rappel was on the inside. Grig actually just came and off to get somebody down 15, 20% HP. Try not to take too many fights, look at us in trouble. Looper and Impact going at a head to head here. The safety coming in from Contracts, that could be enough. The kick doesn't connect for contracts. He's going to be able to get the strike it. Going for the attacks. Looper knows the damage, but does he have the oh! right output? There's the kill from Looper in a 2v1. And Froggen cleans up the rest of it. Looper, we've been waiting for this guy to get in. He's going to have to try right. a shield here or an ultimate. But they're not going to get this in time. The, and the rest of the team can give him a lantern to get out. If he goes for something crazy, he throws down the alt. The hook is going to go on Rao to Keith. He gets out with feathers, but it's not going to be enough. Before yesterday, yeah, it was a, a, a P1 game. Whoa! As I go to say that, Grig goes down once again. He gets himself a little too far into the fight. Full armor penetration here says, Impact, you can't build anything against me. Oh, they flashed for him. Yeah, they're going to be able to take him out. They want to at least relieve the pressure for now. They'll take 55 seconds inside. Doesn't matter. Frog in top side of the map. 1-3-1 one, one with a oh. Baron. A Frog in. So right here. He wants to chunk out Sneaky. And there he goes, throwing everything into him. There's the heal, there's the cleanse off. Still is able to shut him down with the spell reel. And Froggen has more. The blue buff is on, so he can start to play with impact. We're to an engage here from Sneaky on the side. We're going to try to hit up Froggen inside the base. He goes right back. He's going to go down in this one. They're yeah, getting a little ahead of themselves now. And they're going to start up the Baron. It's only contracts oh, here. Word. Looper on the side. Gate's going to try to keep him out. This is the moment right here that could get C9 back in or Echo Fox way ahead. All right, so they get contracts out. They have the Baron. They need to get themselves out now. Here comes the teleport in from Impact to try and lock down the last two members that could be possible kills. Not having Looper for about 55 seconds would be big for the split push, but the rest of the team has Baron. And they may be able to get to him. Is this going to be a day job there. situation? Almost a kill on a contract. They're able to lock him up. The CC is the oh! best. He got him! Still gets the kill. And now they only have one more inhibitor to push. Jace just came back up. C9 trying to take a numbers advantage fight. Sejuani ultimate was used. Greg going low, going down. Looper coming out of the base. Base death's dance just finished as well. Right, and the game here going for the split push on the bottom. One shot blast over the wall could do it. I don't think so. Not they got happen. They've got three elemental drakes plus that. Two super minions alone will take down an Nexus turret. Froggen with Froggen. Missing the chain there, but gonna mimic it. 
Looking There's for impact. Follow. If Looper gets there, there should be a kill. He could go back in the form, get the kill. It's the Froggen, actually. Here's the back. The decisions here. C9, they say, uh-uh. We got two Infernals and a Mountain Drake. It's our Baron. They're going to try for it. it Froggen also, going in. It also folds into the fact that C9 wants that balled up fight. They got to watch for Jensen's petrifying gaze. The Baron goes to Sneaky, and it's going to be Smoothie possibly going down right at the beginning of the fight. He keeps himself alive, and the damage is on to Keith now. They're focusing back. Gate keeps him alive. Oh, he can't go back. He the Froggen. Great dark passage, almost saving him enough. He gets healed up to That's full That's Froggen coming through. He's There's got home guard. forward to home guard again. That's going to be Smoothie. It's Blooper actually has the base if he wants it. He's backing up to grab mid so they can go down to more if this does not work towards the top turret. 59 seconds on Sneaky. Now, this Elder Dragon just going to get melting. Right, I don't even feel like Contracts makes it in time. And he doesn't have flash, so yeah, Elder Dragon down. Cloud Knight. Fox, great for them for being able to avoid so many fights. I don't know about this one, though. Impact. They could be forced in. Oh, Looper caught out. They finally got an engage on him, but he Still does gets, take down Contracts, and he has GA. on the Contracts, has his number over and over again, even if C9 is trying to fight. Fox. If this one goes their way. Jensen buys the Elixir, 1,073 AP, but it might not be enough here. Last engage, Impact goes in, trying to go for broke for the team. It was a hit on that death sentence from Smoothie, but they weren't able to lock down Kate for the kill. It's just how it keeps happening as they're so far ahead. Fox is able to inch out every time with such low health. Jensen looking for the study. Great, that's a gaze. There's the damage. Able to deliver. How does Fox answer now without the mid laner? Without all that power, Keith can still deliver a bit. Looper's been on the top side being a menace. Now he goes down. And Fox overstay their strategy a little too long. They were playing it so the elixir of sorcery. And looking for that back door. They went for the Baron there. Sneaky left to just guard against this. What can you do? Chain of corruption. It goes out. It's like it wasn't able to do too much. And they're on to the, the next turn. The whole team the is back. It's down to half. They, did it. they absolutely wipe Fox off the map. They have control. It's like I said right before that even when that Elder Dragon went over to Echo Fox. That Cloud9. All right, where's the team? Oh, they're at the base. Jensen's trying to take the fight. Contracts is there. The autos from Froggen are coming in, but he hits the Resonator and Sonic Wave for Resonating Strike. Beautiful hit. That causes Froggen to have to leave. It's also sneaky hit in the arrow, and the fight down to the left side of the screen, resulting in C9 being very low. Looper's trying to get into the middle of the fight now in hammer mode. Jensen. He's got to go all in. One more hit from Impact with the Body Slam. The cleanse out from Keith. Can he get the kills in on Impact? Body Slams away. Another He's one from Smoothie. Gets the double kill for himself in the shutdown. Impact limps away once again. Contracts toward the, the map. Having to alt out. A lot of pressure here on the gate. This is Fox just okay. holding off. So it looks dumb, but what he was doing is he's giving Froggen a TP location when he comes up to potentially end the game. But the one, chain. One lockdown, two lockdown. The cast misses. To the skies, didn't do full damage. They may be able to hit impact here. He keeps using Jensen's his ability there. to get the region on the HP. A few more shots. He got That's going to be the Guardian Angel. Jensen comes up huge in the last second. His impact stays alive long enough. And now the hooks come through. Looper trying to go for the kill still as he knows he's going down, but he has to go down valiantly. And he does it without a kill. The team is going to get Elder Dragon. It's always one for something now. But that's the lane, and I don't think they had vision anywhere near him. Oh, it hit. Landed on Keith. Contract. He's going in. He got it. Oh, he kicks it back. Keith flashes as soon as he can with the cleanse on the other side. Smoothie comes in, slays back both members, and that's going to be Keith going down immediately. This is Fox dropping. Gate has to go to the opposite side of the map. Froggen is buying time to find a kill that will also slow down the play. Froggen is just chilling on the side. He's looking he's like, don't bring him to me, boy. Get out of here. Contracts. One kill. They're gonna check this. I don't know Mind if it's gonna happen. They see him already through the sweeper. Grig, other side of the map, Grig's trying to run in. Ah, oh, Contracts doesn't choose the right way, but Frog is gonna walk right into him. E? E? K e to the face! Into the oh, oh, into the hook! Into the ping pong! Into the... Wow, that didn't feel good for Frog in 75 seconds. Goes e. down for another minute. Grig caught out too. TP to the bottom side, Looper! This guy, Impact, staving off. What a tough game he's had in each lane he's been in with Looper and Froggen on him. Now still Great. coming up. Froggen at 45 seconds. Looper doing Jensen's what he can on the other two. side of the map in a 2v1 situation. In a 2v3 situation is what Fox has to deal with inside the base. The Nexus turrets are falling in favor of Cloud9 now. The turret hitting over. Keith has to 
use the ultimate, gets kicked back, Keith goes down, Gates doing what he can to provide the last bit of solace for the Nexus, but Cloud9 with their backs against the wall, say get off my lawn, they take the game into their control, they head down mid, and they're gonna be able to drop the Nexus for game one, 61 minutes long. An insane game that Echo Box looked like they were gonna be able to win, but C9 are resolute, and they come up with game one. That game was sick. Woo!